Welcome to the Military Women's Memorial Collection Storage. Our collection houses more than 8,000 donations, including photographs, documents, textiles, and artifacts representing all eras and services of American women's military history. During World War II, Americans at home and abroad had to do without many goods that were in short supply. Access to textiles was restricted to ensure that there was enough material to support the war effort, and silk was a luxury good that was difficult to come by since the fabric was used to make parachutes. Many service women who got married simply wore their uniforms during their wedding ceremonies, but others found ways to make more traditional gowns. The Military Women's Memorials Collection has nine of these wedding gowns made with silk that came from parachutes, a creative solution for war brides. This gown belonged to Army Nurse First Lieutenant Nellie Adrienne Radican. While serving at Field Hospital in France, she met Army Air Corps pilot Lieutenant James Radican, whom she married in June 1945 at the Sacred Heart Chapel of Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. A Parisian dressmaker used the only silk available for Adrienne's dress, the groom's Army Air Corps issued parachute. This beautiful floor length dress has a yard train, a tight bodice with a V neckline, leg of mutton sleeves, and a skirt that follows the lines of the parachute. Another gown in the memorial collection belonged to Army Nurse First Lieutenant Esther Lund Shear, who was assigned to the 106th Evacuation Hospital to follow General George S. Patton's Third Army. Her brother Norman, who served in the tank destroyer battalion in Patton's Army, brought her a German parachute that he had found on the battlefield, knowing that she was planning to marry Captain Sandra Lachier once the war was over. The couple wed in Salzburg, Austria in September 1945. Lachier's gown has a chapel train, a ruche bodice with a v-neckline, bishop sleeves, and buttons down the back. A third gown in the collection was worn by Women's Army Corps Staff Sergeant Helen Estrona Treskini. Treskini was stationed stateside at Edgewood Arsenal in Maryland, where she worked for the Chemical Warfare Service, testing protective ointments for toxic chemical exposure. The gown she wore when she married Louis Treskini was made of parachute silk from Burma, given to her by a friend. This A-line dress has a scoop neck with ruffle and lace illusion, a fitted bodice with simple long sleeves and buttons down the back. Each of these elegant wedding gowns is a testament to the resourcefulness of brides who found ways to make something beautiful amidst rationing and the sacrifices of war. To learn more stories of women past and present who serve our nation, visit www.womensmemorial.org. Tune in for our next Her Story Spotlight.